Hello and welcome back to another seven o'clock bedtime stories with me. Um, today marks a whole week since we began our bedtime stories. So thank you so much for everyone for watching. And don't forget, I'm still going to be here tomorrow night and the night after that and probably the night after that as well. So please stay tuned and keep voting for your favourite books. It's also been a whole week of your first week at school at home. Well, you and your mums and dads had to be the teachers. What was that like? Did you enjoy it? Were there any parts that you thought, oh, that was a bit tricky for me? Or any parts that you thought were very, very different to being at school? You can let me know in the comments. And also well done to mums and dads who have managed to survive their first whole week of school at home. So well done to you. I think you probably deserve a little treat this evening as well. So... Get nice and snuggly. Hopefully, maybe you've got your pyjamas on or you might have a nice cosy drink like I do and get ready for our book. Now, if you've seen the poll today, you will know <laughs> what the winning book was and it was not a big surprise to me because I know this is a great one. And I know Miss Bendel is gonna be so excited because it's her favourite book of all time. So maybe we should dedicate this story to Miss Bendel. So let me put my tea down, let it cool down because actually it was very hot. And we can get ready for our winning book. You've chosen it. It is Shout It Out If You Think You Know. Silly Billy by Anthony Brown. And if you look carefully at the front cover, this is a bit of a clue to this story actually. The I in Silly Billy is actually a little dolly. And we're going to be finding out about that dolly today. And this is Billy. And we're going to find out about him too. So I'm going to switch over sides because it's easier for me to hold the book this way round, which is why I normally do it like that. And let's find our story. And it's interesting because there's a little pot here before we even start the book. And if you look very carefully, ooh, there's something inside there. A little head poking out. Maybe you can guess what that might be. Billy used to be a bit of a worrier. What does it mean to be worrier or be a worrier? It means that he might have lots of worries and he can't stop thinking about them. He worried about many things. Maybe you've been in bed like this before and had some worries. Maybe not like Billy though. He worried about peculiar things. Billy worried about hats. I don't know why. I don't know why you would be worrying about hats, but he did. Billy worried about shoes. Oh, look, they're sneaking out the window. Maybe he thinks his shoes are going to run away. I don't know. Billy worried about clouds. Maybe he thinks there's going to be a big dark cloud in his bedroom. <laughs> I don't know why. And he worried about rain. <laughs> Maybe he thinks his, his bedroom will be flooded. Oh dear, this one is a bit scary now. Billy even worried about giant birds. Maybe he thinks they're going to take him out of the window. Hmm, I don't like that one. That was a bit scary, that one. His dad tried to help. Don't worry, lad, he said. None of these things could happen. This is just your imagination. That means when you think about something inside your mind... His mum tried to. Don't worry, love, she said. We won't let anything hurt you. Maybe if you've been scared in the night, maybe your mum or dad might say something like that to you. But still, Billy worried. And one night, he had to stay with his grandma. But Billy couldn't sleep. He was too worried. He always worried about staying at other people's houses. But Billy felt a little bit silly 
silly Billy. But at last he got up and he went to his grandma. There he is, lying in bed, worrying. He's got so many worries about hats and sleeping at grandma's house. Well, fancy that, love, she said. You are not silly. When I was your age, I used to worry like that. And I got just the thing for you. Oh, wait till you see this page. It's really good. I'm going to show you the picture first and I'll read it. Teeny, teeny, tiny dollies in Grandma's hand. Oh. She went into her room and she came out holding something. These are worry dolls, she explained. Just tell each of them one of your worries and put them under your pillow and they will do the worrying for you when you are asleep. <gasps> what clever worry dolls. Do you think they're going to work? Let's find out. Billy told all his worries to the worry dolls and he slept like a log. There he is. He's so happy. <gasps> Must have worked. The next morning, Billy went home and that night he again told all of his worries to the dolls and he slept like a stone. And the next night, Billy slept well and the night after that, the end. No, it's not. It's not really. You know that, don't you? But the night after that, Billy did start to worry. Is it about hats or shoes or clouds or birds? <gasps> no. He couldn't stop thinking about the dolls. All of those worries he had given to them. And they must be worried. And that didn't seem very fair. Here are his worry dolls. We've got Colin and Polly, Lizzie, Mary, Sammy and Teddy. There they are. Look at their faces. They don't look very happy. Maybe they are full of worries. So the next day, Billy had an idea. He spent all day working in the kitchen table. There he is. Not in the kitchen table, I meant on. On the kitchen table. It was very difficult to work at first because he kept making lots of mistakes. Oh dear, he should give up, shouldn't he? Should you give up if you make a mistake? No. What happens to your brain when you make a mistake? That's right. It gets bigger. You're exactly right. And he had to start again many times. But finally, Billy produced something so special. Oh, this is my favourite page. <laughs> he made some worry dolls for the worry dolls. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in a bit closer so you can see all of these really cool worry dolls. And some of them share the same names as you. We've got a Millie one. <laughs> She'll be happy to hear about that. She names all of her dolls Millie. This is a teeny tiny one. We've got a Molly one. <laughs> We've got Harry. Where was Harry? There he is. <laughs> We've got two Harrys at our school. We've got um, a Freddy, a Frankie. Oh yeah, look, there he is. Ronnie, teeny tiny little Ronnie. <laughs> and maybe you might spot your name in there too. That night, everyone slept well. Billy and all the worry dolls. Aww. And after that, Billy didn't worry very much at all. <laughs> Oh, and neither did all his friends because Billy made worry dolls 
for all of them. Oh, if I, you could pause the screen here and maybe you could count up how many worry dolls there are. <laughs> Quite a lot. And that really is the end. But at this book, it's very special because it does give you some more information about what worry dolls. And it tells us that they come from a country in, San, in America called Guatemala. And they're made out of wood and scraps of different cloth. So maybe you'd like to have a go at making some worry dolls. They could be for you if you've got some worries at night. Or maybe you could even make some for somebody else in your family who might be having some worries at the moment. And they could put them under their pillow when they go to sleep. That'd be really nice. So I'll leave a little link on Twitter of, of an idea of how you can make some worry dolls. All right? So tomorrow is going to be a different story that we're going to read. And you know these stories very well, I know first one is a very popular one in ash class i know and now you think it's hilarious it is whiffy wilson it was about the wolf who would not wash and oh la la he was poggy and we've got this really funny one <laughs> the incredible book eating boy and oh <gasps> Somebody had a nibble of that one in the book corner. So you get to choose. I'll hold them both up again and you have a little think. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Which one will it be? Don't forget to vote on our poll on Twitter and I'll see you again tomorrow night. Bye, everyone.